Hey guys, it's Adrian. Um, this is going to be my seven week pregnancy update. If you guys are confused, uh, go back and watch my pregnancy announcement video. I uh, uploaded it before this one, so that will have things making a little bit more sense for you. Um, I'm gonna hurry and try to get through this. I'm sorry it's dark, it's like nine o'clock at night, but this is the only time I had. And Carson's sitting here um, nursing, so let's hope that he cooperates. So, seven weeks, four days. Um, this is kind of funny that I'm recording today because today has definitely been the roughest uh, day that I have had so far. Um, I, when I, first found out I was pregnant, I was only having the symptom of, I guess I would, I was feeling a little hungrier than normal, um, feeling like I hadn't really eaten for hours and hours on end when it hadn't been very long. Um, that has somewhat faded. Um, I am so tired this time around, and I hate to say it, but I'm sure a lot of it has to do with the fact that I am 31 years old. I, um, I just, I'm, I have six kids and I'm trying to keep up with them and I'm nursing and, you know, on top of that, like I said, I'm 31 years old and it, I can just tell, like, there's such a huge difference, um, in my energy level. I could seriously nap, like, all day long. Can you say hi? Say hi. <laughs> you are so cute. Say hi. I'm Carson. I'm Carson. Oh my gosh, you stinking cute little guy. Um, so yeah, I, I seriously, I'm just so, so, so tired. And I've been peeing tons. And I've been super, super thirsty. Um, I could drink just like gallons of water. Um, the great thing, hey, where's your drink? Go get your water. Get your water. Go get it. Um, the great thing is that normally I have a really hard time not drinking soda when I'm pregnant and soda has honestly sounded disgusting to me. I have not had soda for at least a week and it just does not sound appealing. So that is awesome. I, um, really not worried about like trying to stop myself from, from drinking soda this time around. Um, my skin, let's just talk about this again. I had this problem with this little guy. Um, so I am convinced already that I am pregnant with another little boy. Um, because I am breaking out all around my jawline. Um, and I like, I've stated this multiple times in my videos before. I already just don't have good skin, but this is like out of control. I've been so diligently trying to take my makeup off at night, clean my face, use my cleansers and toners and spot treatments and all that stuff. And it just doesn't touch the hormonal acne whatsoever. And I never got this with my girls. I really think it's directly related to testosterone. So, um, <laughs> you are so cute and tired. I got to hurry and get through this. Um, what else? So tired, peeing, acne, uh, a little bit of upset, upset stomach, still been able to find at least something that sounds good. Been craving a lot of frozen, like ices and stuff like that, and lots of fruit, um, and lots of like Mexican food randomly. I don't know why. Uh, fast food normally like smells disgusting. Can't even think about it. It's really, really hard to cook meals for my family now because everything sounds gross. So, like, I don't want to cook it. I don't want to eat it. I don't even want to look at it. So that I've kind of been struggling with that. But um, I haven't thrown up, which is great. I do not have, like, classic morning sickness whatsoever. Uh, with my girls, I did. Um, very classic, like, just got sick in the mornings and then was pretty much fine throughout the rest of the day. So I really haven't been struggling with that at all. Um, I can't really think of any other symptoms. I have definitely been a little bit on the hormonal side. Um, 
just feeling, you know, impatient and tired. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm just so tired. Like, I'm just exhausted and I don't want to deal with anything. So, um, yeah, I think that is pretty much it. Oh, and hot flashes. Hi, you cute boy. Lots and lots of hot flashes. Um especially at night. Those are kind of fading now. I am so grateful that I kind of found out later that I was pregnant this time and that I'm already, you know, I'll be eight weeks at the end of this week. And that, like, I'm so grateful that I feel like I got almost like a head start on this pregnancy. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm not going to do belly shots yet because quite honestly, like I just have like chub from previous pregnancies and you cannot like tell that I'm expecting, um, at all. So I will start belly shots when I feel like I'm starting to get a baby belly. Um, two other things I want to hurry and go over with you really quick. One, um, I am planning on filming not only weekly updates, but I also want to vlog my labor and delivery this time. That is very, very important to me this time around. Um, okay, three things. Second, um, we are going to try our very, very best to have a surprise gender at the delivery this time, um, because that's the other thing that I kind of regret from my last delivery course. <laughs> so tired. Um, and lastly, um, I am planning on another natural water birth. Um, so yeah. Ow. He just bit my fingers. Um, that is going to be it for my update, um, you guys. Say hi. Say hi, I'm cute. <laughs> you are so cute. Oh my goodness, that face. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, I am going to call that a, a wrap. And I will talk to you guys for week eight. Can you say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Can you blow a kiss? Mwah. Mwah. Give kisses. Mwah. See you guys. <laughs>